then you can name your drive whatever you feel like naming it. So at this point in time, the drive name is ACS 880 demo. So I can change it uh, on this screen over here, but I'm happy with this. So I'm going to go to next. And then a neat feature that has been brought into the ACS 880 is to do a direction test on your motor the very first time when you start it. To make sure that your cabling has been done correctly, your UVW phases has been co uh, connected up uh, properly, we can test it. And I say, yes, I want to test it now. Press next. And a warning screen comes up. It says press start. Let's start over here. But it tells you warning. Until the setup is done, safety has been disabled and whatever, whatever, the motor is going to turn uh, a third to, to two thirds speed and so on. All you have to do is check the motor and make sure that uh, the forward direction uh, of the motor is correct. So I press start button. You will hear the motor starting and it asks you, is this forward? Yes, the motor is rotating forward. Then I'm happy. I'm going to say next. If it's not uh, turning forward in the correct direction, then I say no, fix the direction. In my case, it's turning correctly. So I'm going to say next. It stops the motor and I go to ID run. Now ID run is needed for DTC if I've selected DTC as a control mode. So which ID run to use? One of the later videos, I will explain to you all the different ID runs. Just for now, I'm going to use, because it's the quickest one, I'm going to use reduced ID run and I'm going to say next. It's going to say press start for ID run and uh, I press start you will see the screen changes. I can get some current over here, no speed at this point in time. You can also hear the motor is doing something. And you just leave it. Basically what ID run does, it, it gets the motor parameters of the real motor uh, that you are using. It looks at stuff like your stator resistance, your rotor resistance, your stator inductance and so forth, the air gap inductance and all of those. And it inputs it into the drive uh, for, control, uh, for control parameters for DTC, which makes your motor control very, very, very good. So it takes about a minute or so. Okay, so you will see the whole time there is current changing and at one point in time, you will see your motor is turning. Guys, while we're waiting for this to happen, um, I have to warn you, of course, it's also written in a book, in a, in a setup book. When you do ID run, your motor has to be disconnected from your uh, load. And um, there is an ID run called Stancil ID run that you can use instead of normal reduced ID run or normal ID run where your motor is turning. But it's good practice to have your motor disconnected at this point in time. So now you can see we've got some speed going through uh, the motor. Motor is turning at full speed. We will be changing the current again to change the fluxes. And after this, your drive will be basically commissioned. Okay, so now ID run has been done and it comes up and asks you, want, do you want to make backups of your parameters that you have changed now? Um, in one of the later videos, I will show you how to make backups, but normally we do not make backups at this point in time because although the drive is commissioned, uh, only the VSD has been commissioned. There's no application that has been uh, commissioned. So let's just say not now and go to next and it says setup is complete. Your drive is now ready for use. I press done and I can go out to home screen which is this and if you look now you see the green light is not flashing anymore it means my drive has been commissioned and if you don't want to believe me before this I couldn't start my VSD now if I press the start button it will run up in speed to full speed reference or whatever reference I've uh, selected I can stop it of course only the basic uh, commissioning has been done. I have not changed any parameters such as acceleration, deceleration, mode of stop and so on. That is part of application commissioning, which will be one of the later lessons.